Stefan Marbury has a few choice words for Stephen A. Smith after his comments about Zion Williamson. Now, I know you take a payment. I got that. And it's understandable. But when you sit and you talk about these black brothers the way that you do, when you speak and you talk about Kyrie the way that you talk about him, I wonder why. Why is it that you do this to them? Because they are strong black and they stand on their own two feet and they do not care about what others say. It's wrong. When are we going to defund his voice? When are we going to defund his voice? When are we going to stop this person who has been giving the opportunity to speak and talk to the culture for people to make an objective opinion about what they hear based upon what this guy is saying. When are we going to defund Stephen A. Voice, Stephen A. Stiff? When are we going to do that? When is that going to happen? Because this guy has 1.5. That's your new nickname. You play basketball 1.5. You shouldn't even have the voice to speak about basketball. You, 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 you shouldn't even. When you speak, you should say, it's what I think. That's what you should say. That's what you should say. You should say, it's what I think when I'm talking about what it is that I'm seeing on TV. When are we going to defund Stephen A. Stiff voice? When is that going to happen? When is that going to happen? I'm so sick and tired of hearing you speak and talk about these black brothers who are trying to do something for their families. They have children and you are trying to make them look like. Why? Why do you want to paint this picture of them? Why do you want to do that? Why do you want to make them look bad? I thought that you were supposed to be the voice of reason for us. You're not. I'm not even going to speak about and talk about what you talk about with the others. I'm not even going to speak and talk about that. When are you going to stand up for us for real? When are you going to do it? You constantly degrade and you pick and you choose who. Is it because they give you rights? Because they give you privilege? Is it because they tell you what is going to be the teaser for the day? You're not going to pick on Zion. You're not going to pick on Kyrie. Not why I'm living and breathing on this earth. You walk around with security. Why do you walk around with, with security now? Are you scared? Are you afraid of your life? Is that why you do that? You can't even walk around freely on earth because of your words that you speak and you utter. You can't even be free. You can't even take if you had children to school by yourself. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You want to fat shame Zion? Why? Why do you want to fat shame a kid who's growing into himself, who's learning about himself? Yes, he's made mistakes. And he will continue to make mistakes. You continue to harp on things that don't even matter. You 
McDonald's? Really? And I'm not saying as a professional athlete, Zion is not supposed to take care of himself. He's supposed to. But why do you have to be the person who puts him down? I never, ever hear you speak and put the others down. Never. I never, ever hear you put them down. It's always us you're putting down. Why do you continue to do this? When are we going to defund your voice? When? Thanks for tuning in to Nye Mag TV.